Hey everyone, it's me Nicole. I know two videos in one day. Today's the 21st of June. Um, I just made this really quick present for a friend of mine and um, someone was asking about the dimensions and I wanted to just like show it to you really quick and I know I'm like totally a mess right now. You know, I'm, I'm going to be, uh, it's my birthday next week. I'm like hanging out with the hubby so I've been like cleaning the house all day to like pretend like I actually keep my house that clean. <laughs> So yeah, it's been like a cleaning fest and packing order fest and the whole thing. So anyway, enough about me. So this um, shrug I made, um, size 34, US 34 needles. I know humongous, but I needed to make this quickly. So I went for it, and I'm really happy I did. It used two hanks of um, ribbon I posted up on the um, on Facebook. But if you want to find like all the colors, because I have like something like 15 colors for this shrug that you can use and all you have to do is when you're on darngoodyarn.com just go to the search functions and in the like it'll give you the option to do a product search type in the number 180 and then space FT like for feet and then you're gonna find all the colors that you can use this and if you don't know what the heck I'm talking about and you want to make this just email me and I will um, I'll send you over the link okay so what I did is um two hanks, 34 needles, I cast on 24 stitches and I just, you know, I just kept going and going and going until I was done with the two balls um, of yarn. So I want to show you, I'm just looking at this other thing, I want to show you how cool this is and let me just, I'm going to move closer to the light. You see how it just like drapes so perfectly and that's, you know, there's no closures or anything on it. I'm going to just point my light up. It's a little bit dark out here and my light bulbs went out so excuse the bad lighting, but I'm hoping you can just kind of see the drape and how this looks, how much coverage it actually gets. Now what I do with my ribbon is, and this is like just a uh, thing if you're thinking about doing this, once you knit this up, you know, sometimes there's weak points and um, you want to make sure if you're giving it as a gift especially, you work out those kinks before, you know, you give it to someone. So what I do is I actually throw my finished projects that are made out of ribbon into the dryer with um, wet laundry and that actually gives it a quick break in so it's nice and flexible and it has this really great drape. The other thing it will do is that it will show you um, if you have any breaks in the ribbon because I had I actually had two holes when I pulled it out of the dryer. I just stuck it in there for like 15 minutes. It just like breaks breaks it down a little bit. It's awesome but I wound up having two holes and what happens is, is the seam on the ribbon will come undone so then you have to kind of weave it back together and then tie it really really it's like you can't even tell where there were holes because you know it's the, the the ribbon itself is like so organic and because it's not finished it hides any of that but I suggest doing that and I that's like one of my favorite ways to finish up a project and it also makes your like it's everything smell really nice too mmm yummy so um yeah that's it I hope that helps you like kinda see what's going on with that I'll probably make some more you know I was gonna take nice pictures but it's dark and um, I'll try to like make another one of these uh, and I'll take really nice photos of you. But if you have any questions, just email me. Um, I love answering your questions. Nicole at DarnGoodYarn.com. You can also call me. My number's on the website at DarnGoodYarn.com. And uh, that's it, everyone. I hope you have a great evening and I will talk to you later. Bye.